The seventh sustainable development goal is sustainable energy for all. It's an international commitment by everybody to everybody that we will have universal access to energy, that that energy will be much cleaner with much more renewable energy in the mix, and that our economies will be less energy intensive, that we will have a revolution in energy efficiency. But another way to think about it is that we have to have energy systems today and in the future that can provide everybody with reliable, affordable, clean power, and that the systems that produce that power for everybody have to have no carbon in them, that we have to, by mid-century, be at zero net carbon. This is a completely different set of energy systems than the ones that we've grown up with. This is an extraordinary challenge, but it's an extraordinary opportunity because for the first time, everyone could have access to energy and that energy would be clean and we would have clean air in our cities and we would have jobs locally and we would have everybody able to participate in the future of their society and of their communities, of their economy. So making that happen requires an extraordinary partnership between communities and small entrepreneurs and big energy companies, between finance, public and private, between government at the national level, at the international level, at the local level. Everybody is going to have to be part of envisaging what does communities look like with sustainable energy for all and be part of making that happen. The good news is that we have the technology. The good news is that we have the finance. What we're missing today, as the Secretary General of the United Nations notes, is the political leadership with the determination to make this happen on the time frame that we need. And this is where philanthropy comes in. At a time of insipid political leadership, at a time when business needs certainty in order to continue to invest in the right direction, and at a time when politics is becoming volatile and communities becoming uh, stratified and pushed in opposition to each other, Philanthropy can take the long view. Philanthropy can be patient in its capital and patient in its building of relationships and partnerships. It can be patient in its relationship with a geography, with a city or a town or a country. And it can be patient in its commitment to an issue. It's gonna take a generation to change the way that energy systems work in our world. And philanthropy can play a very, very important role in that. Philanthropy can also focus on those people that don't get focused on first. The IKEA Foundation, a proud partner and an important funding partner of the efforts around sustainable energy for all, has been an important part of a conversation about making sure that refugees and displaced people get access to energy. If we can focus on those who are furthest away from the systems today and make sure that they get the energy that they need, everybody between us and them should get it too. So that's why we're proud to be entering into a partnership with the IKEA Foundation. 10 years into IKEA Foundation's journey and almost as many years into SE for All's journey, together we are committed to making sure that everybody has access to energy, starting with those who are normally considered to be at the last mile. If we embrace everyone, then everybody will benefit.